welcome to the session. In this session we will learn about properties of addition with complex numbers. Now we know that any number of the form a plus b iota where a and b are real numbers is called a complex number. And here A is called the real part and B is called the imaginary part of the complex number. Now let us start with the properties of addition with complex numbers. First property is the closure property. Now the set of complex numbers is closed under addition. That means if we perform addition operation on two or more complex numbers, the resultant will also be a complex number. Now let two complex numbers Z1 and Z2. Now let the complex number Z1 is equal to A plus B iota and the complex number Z2 is equal to C plus D iota where A, B, C, D are real numbers now Z1 plus Z2 will be equal to A plus C the whole plus B plus D the whole into iota which is of the form P plus Q iota that is, if A, B, C and D are real numbers, then A plus C and B plus D are also real numbers. That means Z1 plus Z2 is of the form P plus Q iota, where P and Q are real numbers. That means Z1 plus Z2 is also a complex number. Thus we can say, that a set of complex numbers is closed under addition. Now let us discuss the second property, that is the commutative property. Now addition is commutative in the set of complex numbers C. Here also consider two complex numbers that is let Z1 is equal to A plus B iota and Z2 is equal to C plus D iota where A, B, C and D are real numbers then Z1 plus Z2 is equal to A plus B iota the whole plus C plus D iota the whole which is equal to A plus C the whole plus B plus D the whole into iota. Now addition is commutative in the set of real numbers. So A plus C can be written as C plus A and B plus D can be written as D plus B the whole into iota. Which can be further written as C plus D iota the whole plus A plus B iota the whole. Now C plus D iota is equal to Z2 plus A plus B iota is equal to Z1. Therefore Z1 plus Z2 is equal to Z2 plus Z1. Where Z1 and Z2 
belongs to the set of complex numbers. Thus we can say addition is commutative in the set of complex numbers as we have proved that z1 plus z2 is equal to z2 plus z1. Now let us discuss the associative property. Now the addition is associated in the set of complex numbers C. That is Z1 plus Z2 the whole plus Z3 is equal to Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 the whole. Where Z1, Z2, Z3 belongs to the set of complex numbers. Now let us prove this property. Now let Z1 is equal to A plus B iota, Z2 is equal to C plus D iota and Z3 is equal to E plus F iota. Where A, B, C, D and E, F are real numbers. Now first of all, let us find the value of Z1 plus Z2 the whole plus Z3. Now putting the values of Z1, Z2 and Z3, this will be equal to A plus B iota plus C plus D iota the whole plus E plus F iota which is further equal to now this can be written as A plus C the whole plus B plus D the whole into iota the whole plus E plus F iota the whole. Now by the definition of addition, this can be further written as A plus C the whole plus E the whole plus B plus D the whole plus F the whole into iota. Now A, C, E, B, G, F are real numbers and also we know that addition is associative in real numbers. So this can be further written as A plus C plus E the whole plus B plus D plus F the whole, the whole into iota. Now again write the definition of addition. This can be written as A plus B iota the whole plus C plus E the whole plus D plus F the whole into iota the whole which is further equal to A plus B iota the whole plus C plus D iota the whole plus E plus F iota the whole. Now A plus B iota is equal to Z1, C plus D iota is equal to Z2 and E plus F iota is equal to Z3. So this is equal to Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 the whole. So we have put Z1 plus Z2 the whole plus Z3 is equal to Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 the whole. Where Z1, Z2 and Z3 belongs to the set of complex numbers. Hence addition is associative in the set of complex numbers. Now let us discuss the existence of additive identity. Now the complex number zero plus zero iota which is equal to zero is the additive identity in the set of complex numbers C. That is if Z is a complex number then Z plus zero is equal to Z is equal to zero plus Z where Z belongs to the set of complex numbers. 
Now let us prove this. Let Z is equal to A plus B iota, where A, B are real numbers. Then, Z plus 0 is equal to A plus B iota the whole plus 0 plus 0 iota the whole. By the definition of addition, this can be further written as A plus 0 the whole plus B plus 0 the whole into iota, which is further equal to A plus B iota. And A plus B iota is equal to Z. Now 0 plus z is equal to 0 plus 0 iota the whole plus a plus b iota the whole which can be further written as by the definition of addition 0 plus a the whole plus 0 plus b the whole into iota which is equal to a plus b iota and again a plus b iota is equal to the complex number z. Thus, from these two equations, we have z plus 0 is equal to z and 0 plus z is also equal to z, where z belongs to the set of complex numbers. Now, let us discuss the existence of additive inverse. Now, every element in the set of complex numbers has an additive inverse that is, for every complex number Z, there exists a complex number minus Z such that Z plus of minus Z is equal to 0 is equal to minus Z the whole plus Z. Now let us prove it. We let the complex number z is equal to a plus b iota, where a and b are real numbers. The minus z will be equal to minus a minus b iota. And here minus z is also a complex number. Now, Z plus of minus Z is equal to A plus B iota the whole plus minus A minus B iota the whole which is equal to A plus of minus A the whole plus B plus of minus B the whole into iota which is equal to 0 plus 0 iota, which is equal to 0. Similarly, minus z the whole plus z is equal to 0. Therefore, z plus of minus z is equal to 0 is equal to minus z the whole plus z. Therefore, for every complex number z, there exists a complex number minus z such that z plus of minus z is equal to 0 is equal to minus z the whole plus z. Therefore, minus z is called the additive inverse of z. So in this session you have learnt about the properties of addition with complex numbers. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.